Hey, what's up, guys? It's Monica from Geeksagoga.com. I'm here with Wigwig Cosplay. I met Wigwig Cosplay. They were doing the um, cosplay contest last night. They were just absolutely amazing. They dressed up as um, Astrid <laughs> and um, Hiccup <laughs> from um, How to Train Your Dragon 2. <laughs> they looked absolutely amazing, and their cosplay was really polished. The next thing I wanted to ask you guys, um, so you guys had a lot of fun. Out of the cosplay that you had a judge yesterday, which one was your favorite? Oh, oh man. man. That's really hard. It's <laughs> not very nice. <laughs> so many really good costumes. And we wound up changing the categories to yeah. crafted and coordinated because there was a different like, kind of variety and breed of cosplayer at right. this convention where it was more like like Ren Fair or repurposed costumes. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we did a coordinated rather than a crafted yeah. as well. And then so we had the two categories of like Cosplay you would see at a cosplay convention, and then cosplay that you see at a gaming convention or a rent fair. Like I really enjoyed seeing um, the Ghostbusters up close because, I mean, I've always yeah. seen pictures like online and stuff of like the really hardcore Ghostbusters cosplayers, but this was the first time I got to see it in person, so I got to take a really close look, and I was judging, so I had all the excuse in the world to so go like, up and look and like... see how they built all their proton packs and everything. That was super fun. Yeah. I really liked your persona one because not oh, enough people you. do personas. We are persona. Like, weeks, we're persona sure. people. Oh. Because we've done Orpheus and Minato and we don't see enough people doing yeah. the personas rather than the characters. Out of the cosplay that you guys make, it looks like you're a tandem or like a duo for mm -hmm. cosplay. Yep. Yeah. So you always have coordinated Cosplays. Yeah, this is like the one time where we're yeah. not wearing a together costume. Right, because in this case, in this case where we need to be able to like sit and reach across the table. Like there were there were criteria mm -hmm. for the cosplays mm -hmm. that we wore to this convention because we're also going to be playing board games and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So and we didn't. Judging. Yeah, we didn't really. We picked out the Astrid and Hiccup because we could both kind of move around in those. But then as far as other ones, we didn't get a good duo that were both very easy to move in so for today we we picked two different groups but we we each have a a combined like a coordinated costume that with the with other us, one. So like with his oh. pen i have a louise and right. with my lady boshi he has a leper so we've either taken way too much time to put on in the morning <laughs> or been just more uncomfortable than we wanted to go so almost all of our cosplays have a yeah. have a duo right? if i had a costume that was solo before i made him a for my costume. Like I did Kuja from Final Fantasy IX. Right. And now I have a Zorn to go with it. Mm -hmm. So I mean the big advantage of that is that we have very, very different skill sets mm -hmm. which allows us to sort of put a lot more expertise in different fields into the same costume by kind of combining our forces. Yeah. So like Janelle is really deep into like the sewing world and then I've been getting better and better at like prop making and leather working and things like that. So together we kind of make both of our outfits and both of them get to a higher level than either of us can make our own. Yeah. Whose idea was it with the whole collaboration? That you just pretty <laughs> much just found each other online or how, how <laughs> well, we, just started, we started dating first. Um, we we I met, was, best thing, we met yeah. at a D&D &D <laughs> game in a mutual friend's basement. That's true. That was fun. So then we started cosplaying together right. once mm -hmm. after we started dating and stuff. We found out we both My started. roots are definitely more in like the RPG board game kind of scene like this con is, is uh, you know, primarily. Janelle is more into like the anime like cosplay scene. Like We've mm -hmm. sort of brought each other further into <laughs> into each side, so now we're sort of a conglomerate. But yeah, so now I'm planning on going to Gen Con, and he's coming to more like more conventions in the Midwest. And doing a lot stuff. more with yeah. 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 Like I had done a little bit before I started dating, but yeah. um, my cosplays were just sort of like you know off the cuff for fun cosplays. I wasn't mm -hmm. doing competitions or anything like that, and yeah. so uh, we started doing them together. All right, dream cosplay. Either, either, either a tandem, oh, yeah. okay. either a duo. <laughs> 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 so, we get asked a lot now because we made my dream cosplay. So oh, okay. that was my dream. So. My dream cosplay is uh, a little bit intense. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Um, I want to make a uh, Monster Hunter armor suit, and I want to make a functioning charge blade. And I don't know if you know anything oh about Monster gosh. Hunter. But anybody who does, it's a little bit, I mean, it's a fantasy weapon. It's not really realistic, but I think I can do it. Uh, but I'm going to have to go into into levels of, of fabrication that I haven't even touched. I'm going to have to be gears, like... Gears, motors, fiberglass. Yeah, I'm going to be pouring fiberglass molds and doing gears and doing all kinds of like electronics and everything. Like the whole, just to get the working, the, the weapon itself will be... 18 times more difficult than making this the you know the completely body covering suit of armor. Um, it's going to be the easy part. 
So <laughs> I expect it to take me about two and a half years once I actually start. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. And then I'll be making a very like fabric orientated, very like hand embroidery, very like skill based. Um, on like guild marm to go with his monster hunter mm -hmm. and then we have a friend who wants to build a monster for us she's a fursuiter so oh, wow. we will have a monster oh a fully functioning monster so we're way excited so, for it yeah i mean that's but it's it's a little ways in the future yet but yeah. i we've started thinking about it. yeah we'll be making a lot of things in between then and now Absolutely. but or now and then but my dream cosplay is ball pierre from final fantasy 12 and i just completed him all out of garment leather with applique and everything like oh my god it's a little it was time consuming and a little difficult <laughs> so like and um in the cosplay world or rather like in the cosplay competitions i know you, you guys have joined a lot <laughs> um it seems like there's a lot of um question on how contests need to be categorized or how they need to be judged like what do you guys think about that? a lot of contests tend to focus more on whatever the popular categories are. There's really two factors that you're looking at when you're looking at cosplay contests. One of them is who you have judging. Uh, the actual judges are going to be the, the biggest thing about like what's going to actually do really well. So like some contests will have um, you know, cosplayers, and a lot of times, I mean not saying that this is all cosplayers, but a lot of times cosplayer judges will be a little bit more amenable to that, like sort of more popular stuff, the things they know. Um, other uh, conventions will have like people in maybe like the theater costuming sort of industry, and when you go in that direction, you get definitely more into like the, uh, like the techniques and stuff and like that. Gritty, like, and how did you make the bodice? There's so kind of good and bad to both of those things, because I mean, there's something to, to be said about like the whole outfit and how everything uh, looks through the lens, because that's really like the core of cosplay is like, you know, photo shooting and just, you know, being able to move around and stuff like that. Technique sort of stuff is is also good because there are a lot of people who, who really, really focus on, on, on that crafting and that, that like technical aspect of it. So I think really um, just know, I mean, if you're looking into uh, different contests and stuff, just realize the different, uh, different cons are going to do it slightly different and go to the ones that you enjoy more, that are more tailored towards you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that you can find um, cosplay contests that will be fair for what you want to do. You just have to maybe go to certain cos contests and not to others. It really just depends. Mm -hmm. For um, cosplay making, so you've mentioned that you try to hone your craft on sewing yeah. and you try to hone your craft on... Uh, making the props and whatnot. Which one is your favorite material to work with? <laughs> and then which one is the most <laughs> difficult to work with? My favorite is leather. I, I love, love, love working with leather. It's just, it, there's something that's very real um, when I'm working with leather. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm working on a craft that has been uh, like, a, like a human craft. Like a very, it's a very real feel. It's very earthy. Uh, as far as difficulty, anything I haven't done before, which is... I mean, some, I, I try to do new things a lot, and usually those are very, very hard until I get the hang of it. But everything kind of becomes easier with time. I don't know. My bane is like spandex and bodysuits. <laughs> oh my god! I am not a fan of making bodysuits. I had to do Genova from Final Fantasy VII, and oh my god. that was my first bodysuit ever. And I had to do latex painting on it, and it was just everything was new to me. I was like, what am I doing with my life? And I had 3D printed a helmet thing, and I had LEDs in it. I'm like, what am I doing? And then, um, like, okay, the <laughs> That was really difficult, so I'm definitely not a fan of like stretchy things. Um, I like more like upholstery, very like speaking like this. I like I like heavy duty fabrics that mm -hmm. are usually made for curtains and stuff like that. But I take them and I repurpose them for like clothing, and I kind of like that aspect. We like the textures and stuff yeah. that we get with the heavier fabrics. I have a whole, It really doesn't. Yeah. It looks like uh, not like cheap. <laughs> like when yeah, you get yeah. the heavier fabrics, it just looks more meaty. Yeah. It looks like it's like, I have a whole panel that I like to do about fabric choice, so I could talk about fabric choice for hours. Like that's kind of my thing. Like I will look at like seven different types of fabric and be like, okay, not this one because it's not this, not this one because it's this. And this one's perfect. It has like everything that I want. But um, the hardest thing I've ever worked with is garment leather. If you're thinking of doing like Lulu from Final Fantasy X or like Balthier, um Garment leather, I would say, have a lot of sewing experience before you jump into garment leather because it does whatever it wants. Because it is leather. It used to be an animal that used to eat and walk around. <laughs> now it doesn't, and it stretches in whatever direction it wants. And then when you cut it, it doesn't stretch anymore, and you're like, what's going on? 
So the, the, that's the real it difficulty really because it's it's not a single direction stretch like a like a you know yeah. fabric would be. It's like think about like your skin. I mean, exactly, kind of like in different parts of the animal, it stretches in different directions. So yeah. you can be like cutting. Oh, okay, it's going to stretch that way, and then up here it stretches this way instead. And it has like a different thickness and thinness and, sp and like certain parts yeah. because of what part of the animal it's on. So it's just not synthetic. You know, it's yeah. something that's naturally occurring. So it's harder to work with. Yeah, and we're very much like a subcategory of cosplayers who still use like leathers and things like that so it's cool to know just that like, like look yeah it's cool to know that we're like a very like subset group of crafters who still kind of do like these medieval skills and, this is and it's it's really um authentic mm -hmm. in a way and that's what we like yeah I mean, that's, yeah that's we really go for realism yeah. So, yeah which is our style <laughs> <laughs> i want to reach that level someday <laughs> <laughs> so tell us all about um which conventions you're going to be in in the next few months or so yeah. great um, I know for sure that I'm going to Anime Midwest. Um, I'll be teaming up with another cosplay team. He has other other obligations, obligations to go to, so he's ditching me for the first convention. Oh. So I am joining up with a different cosplay team where we're going to do an epic skit on stage. I've never done performance before, so this is going to be something new and fancy oh, wow. for me. So I'm joining in on their skit, their Livy cosplay. Really fun. Okay. So I'll be joining them. And then, and uh, then we're judging a couple. Yeah, we're judging um, a lot of year. conventions this year. Wow. We're doing uh, Anime Island. Anime Island. Oh, Anime Cargo. Anime Cargo, yep. And then possibly um, Metacom. Right, possibly. And then and Daisho. And Daisho. Yep. And then we'll also be going to Nebraska, but probably mostly to see friends. We won't yeah. be doing contests or anything. Okay. Are you guys doing Gen Con at all this year? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. But I, I, won't yeah. I don't cosplay at Gen Con, actually. I go back to my when I go to Gen Con, it's my con where I just play so games. So it's your day. That's right. It's my four days. Gen Con for costumes at the level we like to compete with. Right. Usually yeah. we like to be in the and con we, hotel with us. We just yeah. walk out of a room, take an elevator, and walk a couple more steps, and then we're in the green room and we're safe. <laughs> and Gen Con has a great cosplay scene. Yeah. It's just that that's my con where I, I step away from it and, and just do the gaming. And I've never been to Gen Con, but I'm hoping to go. So I'll probably just hang out in t shirt okay. and jeans and do whatever he does. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's it's quite a great experience. Like, I've, so last year was my first year at Gen Con. Oh, nice. And people were telling me all the stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so I plan on going on cosplay, okay. yeah. and everyone's like, "Oh, oh. they're gonna eat you alive there! You're gonna be <laughs> one of the five girls who's gonna be there!" And blah blah wow. blah blah blah. And it's not like a Warhammer 40k Terminator. Yeah, and pretty light much. Light up pistol pretty blasters pretty and stuff. I haven't actually gone to the contest, but I've seen it. Per I've seen the parade a couple times. So yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff. That there. Last year, like. <laughs> Every, like, all the things that people told me about Gen Con was, like, completely the opposite <laughs> of what I experienced wow. at Gen oh, Con last year. Cause, well, I mean, trust your own experience. Yeah, <laughs> but it was like, what? Like, they said there's not going to be a lot of girls here. And there were, like, well, yeah. a yeah. lot of girls yeah. here. I mean, there's just yeah. a ton of people. Like, yeah. people everywhere. Yeah, and it's nice because there's a lot of, like, female cosplayers who do cosplay panels as well, like, talking yeah. about, like, makeup and wigs and stuff like that. I wanted to go to those. Those would be fun. Mm -hmm. We have a Facebook page. Um, I just recently started an Instagram, and our Facebook page is much more active. We do tutorials on it and whips all the time. We're posting what we're making and where we're going. Um, it's called Wig Wig Cosplay. Um, wig dash Wig Cosplay. So, um, that's what we do. You can find us by a giant picture of Astrid and Hiccup and or Me Not So and Orpheus. I think I'd probably be changing it soon, but it'll be another one of our... I think it might be both here and Fran. Is our next one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we win cosplay. Pick it up. Thanks so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.